Many students have been taught a particular approach to essay writing that is not that useful at the university level. Sometimes this model of writing is called the five paragraph essay or the hamburger model. This is what it looks like. The essay starts with an introductory paragraph where the student gives some context to their paper, maybe with a nice quote or fact. As they write, they gradually narrow their focus, and in the second to last sentence, their thesis statement emerges. This is the bun in the hamburger model. Then follows three paragraphs, each which deal with three aspects of the essay, and each paragraph should have three points. This is the meat of the hamburger. The conclusion, or the bottom of the bun, is a reverse of the top, and again the student is encouraged to widen their context. It's not that what you were taught at high school is wrong, it is only a way of writing an essay. In university, you're going to be asked to write a variety of different kinds of papers. You may be asked to write reflections, briefs, literature reviews, critical arguments, case summaries, almost all of which cannot be written using the hamburger model. There is another important change in university level writing. At high school, the emphasis is usually on the form of the essay, where at the university level, there's more emphasis on the thinking that you put into the essay. You could say that professors see papers as thought made visible. If you want to improve your mark, improve your thinking. You want to put a disproportionate amount of your time into the research phase of writing and the editing phase of writing to demonstrate clearly to the professor that you have thought about the material. This is practical as well. It is much easier to cut down a 15-page paper to the 10-page requirement than it is to fluff up a 7-page paper to the 10-page requirement. As we cover in editing, most students suffer from too many word syndrome exactly because they have run out of significant things to say in their paper. Keep in mind that expectations regarding writing vary from discipline to discipline and from professor to professor, so always pay attention to the instructions that you are given by your professor. Almost all professors view the paper as thought made visible. What follows are some general suggestions which may not work in all situations. If you have any doubts, ask your TA or your professor. For example, most professors prefer short introductions. This is very different from the high school essay, where students are encouraged to write around their topic to engage the reader. I have seen introductions take up a page and a half. This is often a mistake. Some professors won't even read the first paragraph of a first year paper knowing that there's not going to be anything significant there. They're going to immediately start looking for the thesis. Why not give that to them right up front? Most professors want no more than half a page for your introduction. Often, even less is better. They want to see immediately what your issue or approach is, why that issue is important, and what your primary argument or thesis statement is. Of course, you can add a bit more into the introduction than this, but do so cautiously. Try to keep it as succinct as possible. Another common difference is that professors want you to give them clear directions as to where you're going in your paper. Often this requires the use of transition sentences. Many students were taught to start paragraphs with facts and information and build up to the point in the last sentence of the paragraph. This is making your professor wait for your thinking. Certainly keep the argument structure of your paragraph, but put a transition sentence right at the beginning that tells the professor what you're doing. You can think of transitions as signposts. If you are driving quickly on a narrow curved mountainous road, you learn to rely on signs like sharp left turn ahead. Without that sign, you might fly off a cliff. Mentally, this happens as well. If you don't tell your professor sharp left turn ahead as you change topics or change to a new issue, you will cause a reading accident and the professor will be left at the base of the cliff trying to figure out where you went. The easiest way to insert a transition sentence and let your professor know where you're going is to take that conclusion from the bottom of the paragraph and move it to the top. You may need to re-edit it a bit, but that's fine. Fourth, use clear, unambiguous statements in your paper. A lot of vagary, things like perhapses and maybes and I'm not sures, makes it look like you don't actually know your topic and that your thinking about the material is not clear. You'll get graded accordingly if that's perceived by the professor, so avoid that kind of language. Finally, pay very close attention to the instructions given by your professor. Every university paper is different. There's subtleties in the expectations of each of those papers that you need to look at. If you have any doubts, 
talk to your TA or talk to your professor about what those expectations are. Good luck.